Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is Craymon and we are back for another Summoner War Siege video. And it's already started, I just woke up. It's pretty late. And we are up against VRK Gangsters and My Frenzy. Okay, so Frenzy is a Malaysian guild. Uh, met most of them in real life, but it's been quite a long time since I've actually met them. Because of yeah, busy with work and after that the pandemic, right? So yeah, they are at rank fourteen at the moment. VRK just a point behind us at number two. We are not too sure how this will be playing out. If VRK starts on us, most likely we have to go one v one all the way, but we'll see. And I'll just check out the outer defenses that both guilds are running. Yeah. So VRK is going for the Kumun Virgos Kogus and with one Iris. Okay, they should just make it all five though. But yeah, it's fine. And this is a Busted Perna Odin, another very famous defense in Asia. And of course the Savannas, right? And I know a lot of them have Giannas, so it might get pretty scary this tower, okay? I think Nonzilla and Touch definitely has it. Yep. <laughs> so three Kumun Giana Savannah defenses on this tower. Interesting. For Frenzy side, the usual Kumun Vigos Kogus as well. Yeah, all five. And we'll check the tower nine here. Oh! Okay, they are going back to the 2017 meta. <laughs> A uh, Jean, John, Thomas, Harmonia. All right. I mean, it's still a good defense, but um, Jean kind of tapered out of the meta already. So yeah, because there's quite a lot of counters to it. And for their middle tower, this Ophelia Barbara Taranis. Okay. A Savannah defense here. Really random stuff going on. <laughs> That's a Zura. And this is the first time I'm seeing Laika Savannah Clara on a defense, okay? Might be pretty interesting to hit. And another Ophelia Barbara Taranis. Right? So yeah, like I said, we are not too sure whether we'll be hitting Frenzy. We'll see later on in the video, alright guys? So VRK just sniped one of our towers down. Most likely will be an all-out war from here, 1v1, alright. So I think we need to head right into it to tap the towers. I'm just gonna mark that. And yep, let's head into this one with our usual bomber com, alright. Yeah, because whoever loses this, this siege battle will lose the number one spot, yeah. So yeah, VRK probably trying to pull us down so that they can get number one, but we'll see. And yep, can we land 6 bombs? Alright, that's nice, that's nice. So we are starting off with a really good win. Malaka dies, doesn't matter, this Kogo should be dead. Boom, boom, oh, almost. This Kumun very tanky. A lot of HP. But doesn't matter, my Sien will move here, and yeah. Clean, clean fight. And yeah. See you in the next one. Hey, okay, there are a lot of towers opening here. So we will just fight this Kumun Giana Savannah defense. Honestly, not sure how to counter this really well, but... I had some success with the Bulldozer, Jamir and Immensity, so we'll just try this. It's not consistent though. So we have to, depending on Gianna, uh, I think we still need to kill her first because of the critical error skill, her third skill. We do not want the AoE stun to happen. So yep, I think we just full power punch this off and Jamir. Oh my god, my Jamir got armor broken. Oh, this is not good, man. Ah, wait a minute. 
I remember for this to work, my jump need needed to be like really fast, but it's not. Because I ruined this for Katarina. <laughs> so, okay, now mind we lost this. It's fine. It's fine. You just have to focus on the other battles, okay? Right. Tower 11 opened up as well. We will be fighting this Bastet Perna Odin Tower with our Fingyan Valajo Rina, alright? It's a very safe comp against it. Just make sure your Rina is really tanky so that it won't die to the Odin. Ignore defense and you should be fine, alright? Just need to kill the Perna off twice and you can auto from there. There are a lot of counters to this defenses as to this defense as well. Something like uh, Tessarion, you see me use the Tessarion with Perna and Light Golem, the Grogo. You could also run something like a Annabelle, Laika, Triana. It's still quite risky for that, but it can work. Another safe way for you to deal with this is of course the Rocky, alright? If you have one, or something like Annabelle, Mara the Dark Amazon, right? So there's a lot of variants to fight this defense. You just need to run them up properly, alright? And finally, the Bastet will be dying here. It took quite some time, yeah? But really safe. And we will just focus on the other fights from here, alright? So now we'll take a look at this Tower 6, one of VRK Inner Towers. And this is a Sierra Martina Shina defense, alright? Um, I'll just go Shield Wheel Cleave with a Light Tank. And make sure your Light Tank is off wheel, alright? So something like Grogo, Asher. They are really tanky, Darian as well, alright? And why is my Vigo on wheel? I think I ruined my Vigo wrongly earlier. But doesn't matter, we'll see, we'll see. How much damage can our Poseidon do? Yeah, I know Carlo, sorry. My guildmates are scolding me. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should have this in the back as well. We'll just kill off this Sierra. And at most my my Asher dies, but it's fine. And yeah, we'll just kill the Shina with our second skill. 7000 damage. Pretty decent, right? Okay, this is another inner defense that they are running for VRK. It's a Galen Teomas Clara, alright? Whenever I see Galen Clara something, I'll just go my Leo Diana because they are really good against it. Unless it's a fire damage dealer, but that's usually not the case, alright? So yeah, we'll just work on the Teomas. One nuke and it's already almost to the last HP of it. And we should be able to pop the Endure here. And put a dot just in case he violent procs later. We should be fine. Right. We'll just strip the attack buff. Nice. Additional prop. <laughs> See? If not, my, my Eladrol should be in danger if if the Tiomas got, got the proc off, right? And yeah, 1v3, we just heal up and just work on the Clara. Easy. Hopefully, we get to fight more Savannas. <laughs> Tilt myself more. Right, so Tower 10, let's go. It's another savannah defense this time with sylvia very interesting i think i'll i'll go something like a tree fire kind of offense ah let's see let's see man i'm not too sure whether this offense can win but as long as we kill the clara as soon as possible we should be able to win this savannah you know Unless he gets like insane crits on it, then I might be in trouble. 
So that's a good prop, and Clara is dead. We have to work on this Sylvia. Oh my god. And my first life of Perna is already down. This is not good. Okay, we flame Nova this Sylvia. We have to kill it as soon as possible. He killed my monkey like that. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I did not expect that. I can't boost as well. And I think we should... Oh my god, last hit on the Sylvia, come on! Gigantic Raw again! Additional turn! Oh no, Perna! You need a stun, please! Can you survive this? If I survive and get a stun, my passive is back! Additional prop! Okay, we will be tapping this tower for... Another inner defense that they are running, Sierra Lauren Perna. So whenever I see this, I bring my Jutan, Emilia, and Feng Yan, right? Got to get that win. Need to bounce back from that unfortunate loss earlier against the Savannah. Okay, Lauren didn't get an armor break. That's good. But I think we just try to cleanse here for the armor buff. Yeah. Put the Calm Mine and try to nuke down this Lauren as soon as possible because that is the only threat on this defense. When you kill the Lauren, your Feng Yan should be able to sustain this Perna all the way, right? Oh, almost 9000 damage, that's really good. But this is my second Feng Yan, so it's not really built that strong. And Lauren kills herself. We get the cleanse up again. As long as this Perna don't go crazy, we should be fine. Yeah, Sierra will never get a bomb off. So, I'm not too worried about that unit. It's just the Perna. Yeah, we bring down the first life of the Perna. Can we armor break? Really nice damage by this Feng Yan. And Jutan might be able to finish off. Nice. 1v3. And yeah, we'll just slowly poke this Sierra to death. Just keep making sure the... Whenever your Feng Yan has the heal up, use it. So that your Emilia doesn't die from this Sierra. And we should be fine. Alright. Another win in the back. Ah! This Sierra gets so many turns, man. But it doesn't matter. Victory. The situation between us and VRK is really close at the moment. But we'll be taking back a lot of towers, so... We should be able to get some bonus after this. Huh, for this defense, I'm just gonna go... Friend and a double bomber shield wheel kind of comp. It should work if my friend doesn't die. I need the attack buff for this to actually work, alright? So, okay, didn't get a strip on anything. Oh my god, additional prop. <laughs> ah, so clutch, all these props. Yeah, if this Miho doesn't die, this Miho won't die because of the shield. God damn it. Ah, so close. Always the additional procs, man. I think pissed off. <laughs> ah, okay. Never mind. Right, so now we are back on the bonus and we have to hit this tower 12 as well. It's a common Vigo Skogul. We'll just hit right into it. With my own Vigor, Skogul, and a Harmonia. Alright. So these are the stats. All of, all, all of my units are on 100% resist. Pretty nice. And yeah, we'll just work on the Vigor. Once Vigor is down, it should be very straightforward from there. And yeah, I'll just pass away this fight. Alright. So yeah, we throw the stone up. Okay, he gets. Ooh, an additional crop. Okay, heal block, nope. 
the armor brick. Try to sneak, go no sneak. Nothing. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the guys get. Uh, yeah, 2v3, there's no way for them to win. This current is only done on this strike, so that's fine. My server will always have access to all of HP. Mm -hmm. Let's continue pressing on this turbo. We've got our lock back up. Nice. Try to sneak, go no sneak. Yeah, why not? This is a shot. And this. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically the last hit on this turbo. We take the lock. Uh, I think my. Very straightforward fight, and we'll move on to our last sword, alright? For our final battle of the day, we'll be doing this tower again. It's the Sierra, Martina, and Shaina. So earlier, I did something like a Galian Poseidon shield wheel comp. For now, I'll be doing it with another Galian. It's a speed cleave, alright? So Galian, Zyros, and Tiana. You have to make sure that their speed are in sync, alright? So yeah, these are the stats. And if my Tiana starts, I win, alright? Yeah, we cleanse that, time to loot, and Zyros new. So yeah, we have this in the back. I'm sure. Very certain of it. There's no way for them to come back from that. And yeah, Tiana finishes, finishes the Sierra off. We got 7 wins out of 10, I'll take it. Yep, the siege battle has just ended and we got rank number 2. So, VRK last and congrats to Frenzy. Frenzy getting that number 1. And this is the map layout at the end of the fight. We still had our bonus, so pretty good. Very even matchup with VRK. And we'll head over to open up the rubbish box as usual. I think I'll open the one next to Colo. Damn, he got the devil mod. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. As usual, you just sell all the runes. Easy mana, guys. And yeah, this is the end of the siege battle. I have a surprise for you in the next clip, alright? So stay tuned. Yeah, so this just happened earlier. I got my first LD Net 5 after 2237 days. <laughs> so happy. Even though some might say he's not that good, but honestly, I do not care. I just wanted an LD Net 5, no matter what, what it was. And yep, yeah, I'll just briefly show you the runes and the skill sets of this unit, Mock Pool. So yeah, this will be the end of the video. I'll be doing a showcase probably in the next couple of days as well. So please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Stay safe.